Hey guys, it's Ali here with Geek on Gadgets, and uh, today we have a very quick look at Cortana for Android. And yes, this is the LG G4 running Cortana, which is Microsoft's personal assistant that's usually found on Windows Phone. Now, this is a leaked beta version that was, um, you know, it was just came out today. It's a, it was leaked today. So we're going to take a quick look and see what features the Android version of Cortana comes with. So once you pop it open, you get the same similar Cortana interface and, you know, very similar to the uh, Windows Phone interface of when you pop that open. Of course, you can use Cortana the same way you would on your Windows Phone, using it for location-based reminders, time-based reminders, um, placing phone calls, even checking your messages and contacts. So if we just go ahead and ask her, how old are you? Hard to tell. Time works differently in here. So you, there's just the same uh, Cortana results that you'd get running it off Windows Phone, and it's powered by Bing, Bing of course. So let's see if we can have... Um, remind me to call my brother tomorrow. So there you go. It has remind you and sets the reminders and everything, and then you can just set the reminder as you would on Windows Phone. And on the right over here, we can see we have Cortana's notebook, which is uh, something you're similar, familiar with. You have the home, which is the actual Cortana. Up here in the corner, you also have the notebook, which shows you um, your interests and what you have saved, your settings, your reminders. And interestingly, once you download this app APK and install it, it'll ask you to sign in with your Microsoft Outlook account, or your Microsoft account, sorry, and it'll sync over your information from my Windows phone. So I haven't changed any of the settings except putting my name and it already copies over my weather information, my favorite sport teams that I'm following. It seems to be very slow though to pick it up, so if we just open sports, you'll see here showing upcoming and it's only the teams I'm, I'm following for notifications, getting around. It's basically the very, it's the same setup and layout of what you have on your Windows phone and all your settings are migrated over from your Windows phone. So it's really cool and it's, it's, it makes it very nice to copy over it. You even have the same uh, news topics. So here we have Nokia, um, local, recommendations, trending stories. And these stories actually look a lot nicer and more detailed than they do on Windows Phone. If you'll see here, I mean, the comparison of the two, I really like the white background colors because they look a lot more like the Google Now cards, which I think are actually a lot nicer because this seems to display more information. Like even looking at the weather here, the weather app just looks smoother and nicer with the white tile background like this. It's a lot easier to digest the information than with the black. So basically this is a quick look at uh, Cortana for Android and it should be coming out soon. I'll be sure to drop a link for the actual APK download below since it's not officially released in the store. But you guys can play around with it and mess around but it's very similar to Cortana on um, Windows Phone. And let's see if we can just use the same commands like call my brother. So you can also use Cortana to call contacts, same as you would on Windows Phone. I guess the only difference really is that you can't quickly access Cortana from the Google Now button down here, so you'd have to have it on your home screen as I do here. So that was a really quick look at Cortana for Android. What do you guys think of it? Um, is the fact that Cortana is coming to Android a feature that might make you move to an Android device too? I'm very happy that it's here because I prefer Cortana to Google Now personally, and I think it's just a more complete uh, personal assistant. So what do you guys think? Um, be sure to check it out in the download link below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.